Hello, Rich. Hello. Can you start by uh, introducing yourself? Tell us a bit uh, who you my are. My name is uh, Richard Castor, or some people call me Rich West Coast. And you have in your hands uh, the three last issues of uh, Teen uh, Angels. I just, I just only had the last, the last two that are Teen Angels that I had made mm -hmm. when I was working with them. Cool. Um, can you tell us how you came to work with uh, with um, these people? Yeah, it's a. It all started like um, when I moved to San Bernardino. Um, me and my brother were graphic artists, so um, we were doing we do a lot of album covers and, um, and flyers and things like that. And um, one person that we met is um, his name is Payaso. Um, he's he's the son of Teen Angel, and um, at that time he was just doing um, he did Teen Angel's records. It's um, it was more uh, Chicano rap, um, and um, and then I found out you know him that his brother Johnny was doing the Teenager magazine and at that time I didn't even think that it it still existed because it was kind of dying a little bit it was kind of slowing down so um, so I told I also and uh, his friend Travieso um, I always bugged them I was like hey tell Johnny you know that you know we, we can help him out with the magazine you know we because we like it you know we grew up me and my brother we grew up with teenagers you know um, seen it in the liquor store we used to buy it uh, well my dad didn't let us buy it but, uh, <laughs> But we got some of it anyway from my from my uncle. Uh, he's a tattoo artist, so he had a whole bunch of teenagers. And um, so, anyways, I, I asked. Um, I kept asking Tarweso and Payaso, you know, hey, like let us work well with Johnny. And then Johnny wasn't around that much. And then they're like, oh, you, you know, you gotta really ask Johnny. And uh, we didn't see him that much. But um, then, then when we did see him, you know, I didn't want to just say, say, hey, can we do Teen Angels? We didn't know him that well, you know, but we knew, okay. So this went on for maybe like six, seven years. And then um, finally Johnny's like, hey, you know, I was like, I'm not really doing anything anymore. And then he's like, you guys, he told me and Traveso, he wanted to take over, to take over the magazine. So then that's uh, when I started with the, continued it with the, That's when I started and continued with um, starting with issue 232 and then, and then went 232, 33, 34. And now it's uh, it's already stopped in Angel? Yeah, um, unfortunately um, their dad um, passed away. Um, and after that, um, David, um, David DeBaca, he kind of took over a little bit. Um, Teen Angel himself, he wanted um, David to, to continue the Like the legacy, you know, put them, um, like take care of all, you know, his show, them, you know, because a lot of people they don't, they didn't even know Teen Angel was, they didn't know about Teen Angel's magazine, and he wanted David to, um, to keep them, you know, keep them alive, keep them going. So. Okay, and uh, so you are the graphist of the magazine. Yeah. Yeah, and you do some, uh, you use the style of Teen Angel. Yeah, um, it's, it's a kind of cholo style. Yeah, after Teen Angels, um, I didn't do nothing for maybe like a year, almost maybe a little less, like six months. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to continue it or not. Um, and I was because um, we weren't a, we weren't going to use the Teen Angel name anymore. Um, and I talked to by also. We thought about yeah, there's because they have a bunch of magazines. Um, there's a, there's Teen Angels. Tattoo, and there's um, there's another one called Street Life, and, um, and we're thinking about bringing the Street Life back. And then, um, well, I was thinking, I thought about it for a long time, and then um, like almost a year, and then I decided um, that in 2016 that I was gonna make a. We decided to call it um, Originals, and then the, this is the first um, issue of Originals, and it's basically a continuation of the Teen Angels. Mm -hmm. And then this this is the second um, issue right here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And they're um, the same thing, you know, a lot of Chicano style art submissions, people send in the art from prison, art from the barrios, um, different places, people send in photos, you know, poems, different things. Okay, so it's more or less the same, same spirit of Teen yeah. Angel. Yeah, okay. exactly. But you run this one original. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about what is a Cholo style? Um, It's just the style that comes from the barrios, like a little bit uh, lower class, um, not lower, but like four, um, 
lower economically. Um, people that they're a little bit more creative because um, you kind of have to be because um, you can't just go out and buy things. So um, it's just it's a whole lifestyle. Um, there's a lot of things. There's low riders. You know, people like to fix up their cars because you know they don't can't just go out and buy one. So they want something nice. And there's you know they do low riders. There's drawings. Like, a lot of it is influenced by like tattoo. Um, style and then there's um, there's music there's and there's drawings of course like I said that, um, and art and poems poetry it's just everything you can think of you know and a lot of people um, here in America it doesn't get a lot of um, it doesn't get a lot of recognition like people um, kind of look down on it but then like it's weird when you go to like Japan or like um, Germany like um, a lot of people that like, they just like love it like a lot. So, but right now, to me and also David, you know, we're trying to bring the style, keep the style alive, um, keep going, keep the Teen Angels, um, tell people what it is, what's about. And right now, it's just it's really picking up, and people really are starting to turn around, starting to recognize like, what it's all about. And uh, you can tell us why uh, Teen Angel have a so big influence in uh, tattoo art or oh, yeah. graffiti art. Just because you. Because the magazine, he was like, um, he was out there. He was even before Teen Angels. He was doing um, Lowrider magazine. He would do a lot of drawings for um, that went into Lowrider magazine. Um, he just did, did paintings for people, like uh, murals um, on on places like shops and cars and different things. He was he's an all around artist, you know, that just does everything. And that was even before he started the magazine. So when he started the magazine. All they did was like now everybody, it was in, it was everywhere. So now everybody's seen Teen Angels artwork. They're seeing what he's about, what the magazine's about, and that just kind of blew him up even more. Can you tell us uh, what influence it had on your life uh, personally? Uh, me, like um, after seeing, uh, we used to pass out like um, in elementary school. I grew up like in the 80s, um, late 80s. Um, there was no such thing as Instagram or Facebook, of course. The way we saw like these type of drawings was everybody would make uh, photocopies, and uh, or they would get them from their brothers, older brothers, um, or a lot of prison art, and they would make photocopies and trade them and give them away, you know. And that's the way like you kind of saw this art. And then I I saw uh, the first time I saw Teen Angels magazine. It was probably like maybe like '88, '89. Um, I was like, whoa, that's all the art that, you know, we love, we like, you know. And I got into the magazine, I noticed like um, Teen Angel, he had a lot of his art, his own art in there. And I was like, oh, this guy, you know, he's like, he's really good, you know. I, you know, me and my brother, like we'd like, we try to copy him, we try to like uh, do drawings like, just like him and when we were little. And we kept, and we always been uh, artists our whole life, so. And he was like one of the first, um, people because because he liked lowriders he, he kind of really identified with um, with me and myself so that's why he's even today like he's still one of my favorite artists probably my favorite artist i would just say he's my favorite artist and that's why you wanted to continue his yeah. uh, legacy and how is your version of teen angels uh, different from the original one um it's just a little bit more modernized we try to we want to we wanted to keep the old school because even when um when Johnny was doing it, the son of Teen Angel, um, he was really modernizing it. But um, he modernized it like so much that people weren't really liking it because they liked um, what his dad did. They liked the old school flavor. And so when I, when he let me and Traveso um, take over to help him do it, um, we wanted to bring the old school back a little bit. Um, so we we're trying to do like the um, the 80s or early 70s, um, late 70s and early 80s style like. We wanted to put that back in the into the book, um, but it's still a, definitely a modernized version. Sorry about that. Um, it's definitely modernized. There's, um, nowadays, there's a lot of um, the a lot of photography and a lot of um, photographers. Um, before there, were, in the old Teen Angels, there wasn't a lot of um, a lot of photography. Yeah. There were just there was normal pictures that people would submit. You know. The difference that's probably the main the biggest difference also oh the biggest difference probably is um that we so i started doing interviews because the submissions um it was really dying um at the end um so when we took over we, we were trying to get more submissions but it's really hard 
So then the, the idea I had was to do interviews on people that were big in the community, that were big in this kind of style. So that way we, you know, people can learn about them also as well. And can you tell us about the nostalgia in this uh, um, Cholo style? Like um, in the 70s, uh, teen angels, they were dressed as, as the as the 50s with the zoot suits yeah. and uh, and those old cars and and it's an aesthetic that is, you know, that stays old school. Yeah, it's um, like we love that the old school style. You know, like all those all Chicanos, not just Chicanos, uh, everybody. You know, it's just uh, it brings it back to a memory. Like you know, um, like anything. You know, like the time you know you might have been in love or whatever, or you met a girl, or you know, just had a good time cruising. You know, and that's why. Um, besides doing new stuff, I mean, we all love doing new stuff, and we all love being creative. But you know, at the same time, we just love that nostalgic cholo style. You know, um, we just wanna. Like keep it, keep it alive, and keep that that feeling. More, most of all, it's just the feeling that you know that we get. So that's why, like in the in the early teen angels, you know, they look back like to the Pachuco era, you know, and they want it to be like that, and they love that. And even and then right now, you know, we kind of looking back to the '80s or late '70s style, you know, because we just love that time. You know, it's a we feel like it's a more innocent time, but I feel, it might be the same, you know. But, and about your magazine, you you get submission from everywhere in the world, or it's, yeah. it's in the US. Yeah, now it's um, picked up a lot. The submissions, like everybody, um, once they heard it first when I was doing Teen Angels, people they thought the same as me. They're like, I didn't even know Teen Angels existed still, and I'm like, yeah, you know, we're start, you know we're starting to bring it back. You know, it's it's always been around, but you know, just people didn't know about it, and. Um, and a little by little, you know, when people heard about it, they started getting more interested and people wanted to be like, hey, can I put my artwork in there? How do I do it? And I'm like, it's just so simple. You just, you know, email it or you can ma or you can old school mail it, you know, and people were like, oh, that easy, you know. And then like now it's like um, the submissions, I, I got a good amount of submissions of artists, of drawings, of photography, and it's pretty good. You? Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, thank you guys.